She's a strong woman. But she never had the option to not be strong. She always had to choose strength in every situation that she's been in. Sometimes being strong is a burden for her. She don't want to be strong all the time. She got no choice. And sometimes she comes off strong. But guess what? If you offer that woman help and she don't take it, don't take it personal. Don't take it to heart. She's not the type to ask for help. Because in her life, she's been the only one, the only reliable one, the only responsible one, the only one that had to take charge. And when you've been that only one for your whole life. All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hi, gorgeous people. How are you all doing? So, the, the family I usually follow to church, I told you guys in one of my vlogs that they travel back to their country, which is Ghana. They, the lady actually went for the dad's burial so they are back and they decided to do you know normal thanksgiving for a successful burial today in church so i went with them but after service they have to stay back because um they gave people um some things you know to entertain them kind of yeah they gave them um food meat pie drinks and all so they needed to stay back and um clear the church and you know tidy up in fact so they had to introduce me to another person that now brought me back so i don't just want to stress them to come and start dropping me in front of the house since they are not going to pass my house so i stopped at the junction at my street junction so I'm walking down to the house right away. Yeah. They actually gave me they actually gave me a meat pie and drink. Yeah, I think it's Coca-Cola. Yeah, this is this is it. This is what they gave me. I don't know what that drink is. I don't know if it's malt or cook. So I'm heading home right away. So I got a lot of complaints. Will I call it a complaint? Some are compliments about my hair that I shaved off. So as I cut my hair <laughs> and I posted it on my story on Facebook, a lot of people complained. It's not in fact, let me not say the one that surprised me because it's not actually a surprise. I knew my mother-in-law was going to say something about it you know <laughs> but i was just waiting for my mother-in-law's reaction because i because i know she was going to complain as well as if when she came around and saw my hair she was like why did i bob my hair why did i have to shave it off that she's not against me just cutting it but shaving it completely is what she doesn't like that I don't know, as a married woman, I'm not supposed to shave my hair. That is only people that are mourning their husband that shave off their hair like that. <laughs> oh my God, I understand. Yeah, because that is actually our tradition. It's our tradition for married women to shave off their hair um, during their husband's burial. Yeah. But right now, Christianity has come and a lot of people don't practice that tradition again. A lot of villages, a big town now, don't practice that, you know. And moreover, it's not like I just shaved my hair because I just want to shave off my hair. I shaved my hair because I have a problem with the hair. So it's a health condition. And I had to shave it completely because I once cut it low and the edges didn't still grow back so I just had to shave it completely this time around so as for new ones to grow back and the truth is I'm not even happy that my hair is the way it is and I'm not even happy that I shaved off my hair yeah this is one of my biggest insecurities as in my hair has been a tongue on my flesh you know I just have to 
you know be bold enough to accept my head the way it is accept myself and come out of this low self-esteem because of my hair i know the battles i face as in anytime i look at myself on the mirror and i look at my hair i know how terrible and how bad i feel about it so cutting it is the only way that you know makes me feel better the only way that makes me feel okay and i thank god that as i cut my hair it suits me so well i'm not looking that bad so i think it made me feel better so that is actually why i cut my hair you know so it's not something i just did because i wanted to shave off my hair yeah i'm not mourning my husband is not dying anytime soon in the name of jesus amen and i did not shave off my hair because uh I'm mourning or something. Or, no, 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 no. There's nothing like that. My edges were bad. You all saw it. I carried you all along. You saw it. So that is why I decided to shave off the hair, believing that new ones will come up, you know, and, you know, grow. Because people were just complaining. One of my cousins, like that, just saw it and was like, hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? I know they have been saying a lot of things that I don't know, you know, after seeing the, after seeing my hair. Come on. I know send them. And again, before I shaved off my hair, I told my husband about it. Initially, he was not in support. I tried to convince him. I tried to make him see reasons with me why I want to shave it off so that new hair will grow. Let me see if everything will, you know, start growing normally in which he agreed later on but he told me that i should make sure i don't carry my hair like that outside after you know shaving it off i promised him that i'm not going to carry it out like that if i'm going out i'll wear wig as you all can see i am wearing wig now you're not even know i shaved off my hair it's only when i'm in the house that you will see me with the hair you know so that is it make one no worry eh? <laughs> Oh, people that are concerned about me shaving off my hair, don't worry, the hair will still grow back. It will grow. No be hair. It will grow back, eh? Make one no worry. Eh? All my village people, make one no worry. The hair will grow back, eh? I did not commit any abomination, I beg. Eh? <laughs> I did not commit any atrocity, eh? Okay. So, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys. And see you all in my next video. Bye. Early in the morning, I still get a little bit nervous.